everyone, so I'm here to do a what's in my wristlet video and a review on my new phone case that I actually posted a picture on Instagram a while ago, but I just really wanted to show you guys and do a small review on it because I absolutely love it. I've gotten so many compliments on my new phone case. I don't think it's going to be a long video because it's a what's in my wristlet and I was going to do a what's in my bag video, however, I just realized I don't have any of my like big purses here. A lot of my purses are actually at my mom's house, so I thought it would be more practical to actually show you guys what's in my wristlet because this is what I've been carrying, like the only thing I've been really using to carry my stuff around because I am a college student, I'm a senior in college, and I'm 22 years old, so I like things to be more convenient than rather like carry a huge like huge purse everywhere like just filled with stuff. So if you want to find out what's in my bag and if you want to see my new phone case, then keep on watching. So this is my wristlet right here. You guys have probably seen this if you've been watching me for a while. I got this Burberry wristlet for Christmas from my mom. It's a pretty good, decent size, actually. I've had other wristlets that are actually a lot smaller. You can't really fit much in it, but this is a perfect size wristlet. And again, it's just a Burberry wristlet. If you want the details or the name to this wristlet, I'm going to leave it all down below in the description box. So you can go there and check out that if you are interested in this. First things first, this wristlet opens like this. It has two buttons right here, as you can see. Then it has a pocket up here at the top, a small one here. And then the big pocket right here at the bottom. So at the top, all I have really are some recent receipts that I just want to hold on to just in case of anything and then I have some feminine product you girls know what I'm talking about but don't really think I should show that so that's really all that's in there in the top pocket and then in the big bottom pocket here I'm gonna first show you my phone case I'm gonna talk about my phone case for a little bit because I'm so obsessed with it and everybody that sees me or bumps into me all they can do is talk about my phone case. So, so this is my phone. I have the iPhone 5 if you guys are curious. And this is my phone case. Look how adorable this phone case is. I am so obsessed with it. It's not even funny. When I first got it, I was freaking out because oh, I love it. If you guys are wondering, this case was sent to me. I got this from LuxAddiction.com. And at first, when they first contacted me, I was just like... All right, a phone case, let's let's check them out, you know what I mean? And I was looking through all of them, just like, wow, these are awesome. But there was just like a bunch of flowers on them, like cheetah print, zebra print, you know, obviously blinged out. Uh, there was butterfly ones, floral ones. They're just all beautiful cases. But that's just not really my taste. Their website are great if you, if you like that. I love, you know, blinged out things and everything, but I'm very... I'm girly, but I'm not, you know, girly to the point where I want, like, a floral, blinged out phone case. I thought this one was fun, cute, and that's kind of more my style. So if you guys don't know who this is, which you guys probably do and should, if this is Mario from, you know, Mario Brothers. And, um... It's just so cute. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever freaking seen? A little more about this phone case. I did want to tell you guys, these rhinestones or crystals, whatever you want to call it, they actually stay on very well. I've had this for quite some time now. I think maybe just one or two have fallen off, but they do send you extra rhinestones and crystals so you can just glue them back on easily. I did lose one or two, I believe, but I did have this for a while and I kind of throw my phone around. But um, that's just me. But I did want to let you guys know that. I love it. I think it's great quality. I've gotten so many compliments on this phone case. And it's just a great conversation starter. It's so funny. Everybody's just like, oh my gosh, your phone case is insane. And then we just get into a conversation and it's just hilarious. So as you can see, it is 3D. So the nose pops out a little bit. All my friends ask me, like, how do you put that in your pocket? I'm like, girl, I don't put this in my pocket. I, I have never put anything in my pockets because I always lose whatever's in my pockets. So I always put my phone or anything, my lip gloss. It's always in my wristlet or my purse or anything like that. So if you guys are wondering how I put this in my pocket, I don't put this in my pocket because it probably wouldn't fit one. And I just don't. I don't really have pockets actually a lot of the times because I hate wearing jeans, but that's just my opinion. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the cutest phone case ever. And if you guys are curious, the rhinestones, the few rhinestones that did fall off, they were just on the black part. They weren't on Mario. So Mario is still nicely intact. They use really, really strong glue. So that is amazing and awesome. And I love how realistic this looks. It's just so cute. I absolutely love it. If you guys are wondering, the price on this is $79.99. It's $80. 
but it's so well made. It's 100% handmade. Like literally all, every single crystal on Mario and on this case was glued on by hand. So I think that's just amazing. Like, you know, somebody's taking their time to actually glue on every single one and every single one is unique. $79.99 might sound like a lot, but if you're looking for a blinged out, fun phone case, I would definitely check out Lux Addiction. They have amazing designs and the quality is great. Also, if you're wondering about the shipping and like how they package everything and if they were fast, oh my gosh, perfect. Perfect shipping. They told me when they were going to ship it out. It got to me in like five days seven days max but right? i believe it was like five days or something like that so that was really fast it was packaged so nicely they actually individually wrapped the front part individually wrapped the back part and then of course there was like peanuts and like bubble wrap and all that and it comes in this really cute satin like pool bag so it was perfect i absolutely loved the packaging the shipping they're really nice over there so if you have a problem or anything you can always contact them if you don't like your case or if you're not happy with it you can return it within 15 days so that's amazing that they actually offer that but i love my phone case i literally i get so many compliments and so many stares so now i'm going to get back to my wristlet so here we go i'm going to go in here i actually do not have that many things in my wristlet i don't like to carry and lug things around usually especially when I'm going to class or like if I'm just going somewhere really quick. So the first thing I have are actually lip products, of course. I'm a girl, you have to have your lip products, you know what I mean? So the first thing I have is my Maybelline Baby Lips. And this one is in, do they just have the names on it? Mm. Um, I don't know which one this is, but this is just the clear one. I believe it's just the peppermint one, I'm just guessing. Um, so yeah, I have that really moisturizing and I always have a chapstick around. Then I always carry whatever lip product that I'm wearing that day. Today I'm wearing Max uh, Bare Lip Shine. Yeah. So that looks like that. So whatever lipstick I'm wearing that day, I'll throw it in my bag so I can reapply for later. So this is what I'm wearing today. So I have that in there. Of course I have my keys right here. So I have um, my car keys, my house keys, um, just like my CVS car, my Walgreens, you know, uh, what is it called? What are these things called? Frequent customer cards? Yeah, something like that. And then my keys, this one's a little panda, and this one is a little robot. So those are my keys. Oh, my eyeliner. I always like to carry eyeliner. I don't always do, but today I obviously have it in my wristlet. But I do like to touch up my uh, waterline once in a while. So this eyeliner is my MAC Feline Coal Eyeliner. I don't even know if you can see the name anymore. It's kind of rubbed off. But it's MAC Feline Coal Liner. Oh my gosh, amazing black eyeliner. And then the last thing, which is crazy, right? I have like nothing else in this wristlet, is my wallet, of course. So this is my wallet. It's from J. Crew. It's really dirty, but it's one of those magic wallets. Um, if you guys have never seen these before, I'm just going to show you guys. So say here's some money, just some cash, and you just put it in there like this. You close it, you open it up the other way, and the money's in there. Well, let me take that out. So that's... I call it the magic wallet. I don't know what else it's called, but again, you just put the money in there, flip it the other way, and the cash is in there. What else is in here? I have, oh, these Victoria's Secret Secret Rewards cards, which I have to use up. I have some gift cards in here, my Sephora VIB card. I have my business card here. So I have a few of those just kind of stuck in there. My wallet's really small. I don't carry the big wallets unless I'm carrying one of my big purses. So this is my wristlet wallet and then I have other wallets for if I'm carrying a bigger purse. So that's basically all that's in my wristlet. It's totally empty. That's basically what's in my wristlet. Do you guys carry a wristlet often or are you guys usually holding a purse? And if you do carry a wristlet, what do you keep in yours? I know there's not much room in it, but I just like to have things that I'm going to need throughout the day. So I don't carry like my whole makeup bag in a wristlet, you know what I mean? Just a few makeup items just to touch up. But yeah, let me know down below if you are a wristlet kind of girl or if you are a big tote purse kind of girl. Because for now, I am definitely a wristlet girl. 
I'm on the run so much. I'm a student. I work. Uh, it's just craziness. So I like to have something simple to hold on to, and it's a good size. So yeah, let me know down below what you prefer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it, and I'm going to film another video soon. Let me know what you guys want to see. I don't think I want to do another haul because I always do hauls. So please, any requests would be so helpful. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!